This poem is also uh, from a recent book, uh, The Readiness. Uh, it has to do with a, an extraordinary event on the afternoon of Christmas Eve when uh, my family and I went uh, looking for a snowy owl that had been uh, said to uh, be on the shores of Lake Ontario down from the tundra. And it was a very small needle in a very large haystack, but it, amazingly we, we found the bird. Uh, and uh, this poem is about that. It's entitled Christmas Eve Afternoon at Braddock Bay for Eleanor and Will. And it was said that we should go to see this thing come to us from afar. So we set forth over fields, simplified by snow and ice, bent low to negotiate an avenue of wild rose arched by weight of winter, its red hips ripe, past a stand of cattails, umber seed tubes broken into beige wool redolent as spice, and came to an endless lake, steel blue under a lowering anthracite sky ornamented by salmon trim at its distant edge. Along the shore, past bare willows, Glowing from within, a serration of waves broke all but frozen. From the rock-ridden jut of a long spit hung teeth of ice, a place as austere as the cold cattle shed and tooth-gnawed slats of a small corn crib we would hallow as a manger that night nursery of God. Here, now, at the heart of wilderness, was the mystery we'd come so far to see. At first, nothing. A white-topped, white and gray striped boulder at the far end of the promontory. Then the white top of the boulder moved, swiveled like a lighthouse illuminating a circle of the world, searching into us the oval, gold-eyed face of a snowy owl from the Arctic tundra, a creature so fiercely itself, it was the proof I was looking for. Mm -hmm.